Thank you. Uh, I will be speaking about uh, growing super bubbles uh, driven by supernova explosions, multiple supernova explosions, and uh, mostly about them, about this, uh, this uh, such kind of bubble. Uh, here I show all my friends with whom I uh, joined uh, this this study during the during over the several years, maybe three, four, five years. Uh, we we discussed a lot, many uh, we, we we had many fruitful discussions on this issue. And these are these are Eugene uh, from uh, let me uh, from uh, Rostov University, Southern Kazakh University, Dimana, Pratik Sharma, Aditi Vijaya, and Pratik Sarkar uh, from from Hebu. Uh, the environmental effects uh, on the growing superbugs, uh, I mean by, by the environmental effects, the uh, feedback which uh, galactic the ISM environment uh, affect on the super growing super bubble. And uh, the feedback is also includes the super bubble effects onto the intercellular medium. So it's really uh, negative and positive uh, feedbacks uh, working, uh, working in time. Uh, but I would mention I would uh, stress uh, that environmental effects from uh, being here in Bangalore are very stimulating, and uh, you, I, I, I hope you feel this, this effect here. It is uh, Lalbak, Lalbak Botanical Garden, very nice place, and you can you can see here the uh, crowns of trees, just uh, around 70, 80 meters uh, diameter. It's great. You never can uh, can uh, can uh, see this kind of grounds in other places. So uh, there are several issues already discussed, very widely discussed here in uh, in, the, in previous days. These are uh, enriched super, uh, CGM Corona, uh, first published. As I know, it was published by uh, Tomlinson in uh, 2011, and there were uh, talks by yesterday work, Floyd uh, Boucher, uh, which uh, illuminated very, very good, illuminated this, this issue. Uh, then, uh, then uh, galactic winds, AGN film bubbles, which are seen, uh, for instance, Fermi bubbles is in, 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 uh, in our gal galaxy, galactic winds is uh, represented very, very well by uh, this one, the, the galaxy M82. Uh, AGNs, uh, we, we were shown about the AGN, AGNs by Fremont on, on Monday. Uh, the your array, and uh, to tomorrow we will see the connection, the possible connection, at least contamination from super bubbles to, to uh, uh, properties of uh, thermal bubbles, uh, on the emission of thermal bubbles tomorrow by Crocker and Kershner. Uh, I would <coughs> mostly, mostly uh, focus on this, on this point because of uh, some the environmental effects I, I, I want to speak, uh, speak about today. They are uh, more tightly connected to, to this part, to the initial uh, enrichment of the universe by chemical elements. Uh, so the very first paper uh, described the presence of heavy elements, uh, in, in this case carbon, carbon-4, was the paper by Sangeva, 2001. Uh, when she described uh, the presence of carbon-4 at redshift uh, more than 5, 5, uh, around 5.5. Uh, there, are, there, there are metals present, uh, by the way, with the very high uh, metallicity in uh, 
then find a laminar alpha system and around them in the IGN gas. Uh, just exciting Middle East uh, up to redshift uh, seven, six and then seven to seven. And uh, the Middle East here, you see, it is only 0.1 uh, or solar Middle East. So this means that uh, in the early universe, uh, super bubbles providing uh, transporting metal, metals from supernova explosions from the sources, uh, they are very widely, very widely uh, present in in the in the universe. And mostly, the point is the main point is that uh, uh, in the early universe, at least at redshift more than uh, say more than six seven. Uh, at most, uh, most of the sources, they are uh, dwarf galaxies. The galaxies, like shown here, uh, you see this, the, uh, the luminosity function of uh, galaxies at uh, redshift 6, and you see the, the enhanced presence of uh, dwarf galaxies in, in, the, in this uh, distribution function. Compared to uh, redshift 0, you, you see here just flattening up to up to um, masses around 10 to the 11. So this uh, this shows that uh, these galaxies are really uh, responsible for four galaxies are really responsible for the enrichment of, of the universe in the, the in the very initial stages. Uh, this point was first, uh, as I, I I know, stressed by uh, in the paper by Ferrara and Michael in the end of 90s or beginning, beginning of 2000, somehow 99 or 2000. They modeled, uh, they are uh, they are first uh, modeled uh, ejection of metals in, from the warp galaxy into the IGN. And uh, they used, by the way, they used uh, the very popular uh, right now uh, luminosity driven means model. Now, uh, what I want to speak in this in this talk mostly is uh, is uh, uh, related to the dependence of the uh, morphology of super bubbles growing under under uh, supernova activity. Morphology, I mean, simple uh, ratio of vertical to radial radial um, size. So when you, this, uh, this uh, Q is, uh, is the so-called uh, porosity factor, the factor uh, which describes how, um, how efficient are uh, overlapping of supernova remnants. If the, they are identical, the porosity factor goes to zero. If they are, uh, I mean the supernova remnant identical, the porosity is zero. If they are uh, tend to, to be 1, 10, 10, 100, and so on, the porosity goes to, so when they are led, uh, the porosity goes to uh, higher values. And in, in the first case, in the first case, the vertical to uh, uh, to radial ratio, uh, ratio is either is close to, to 1 or slightly grows when, when Q increases. When we have a strong availability, uh, the uh, super merged super bubbles, uh, merged supernova rem remnants, they start to grow up, and uh, uh, in some cases, under under certain uh, under certain conditions, under certain porosity factor, uh, they break through the interstellar um, stratified interstellar medium and uh, go away. The energy goes away. So this uh, this porosity factor is uh, uh, either. This relation, the ratio of energy, uh, the supernova er energy over the uh, relevant thermal energy in the in the in the scale cave. Uh, in the in the case of luminosity driven energy, uh, uh, <coughs> super bubbles, this ratio of the mechanical luminosity to this to, to this factor. It's also kind of to in, in, in the in the disk. And uh, it's equivalent also when you have disk spread uh, explosions. I, I showed this model better. Uh, 
In, in this case, it's proportional to the square uh, to the square of the of the area where the explosion uh, occurs. Uh, uh, star formation rate and the same the same factor here. Uh, this is uh, actually equivalent to to the thermal uh, thermal emission rate uh, losses in the uh, interstellar medium. So. Uh, this is the factor for uh, for the for the uh, continuous star formation rate in the disk spread through the uh, through the disk. This uh, this factor depends differently on on uh, the scale height. In, in case when the super bubbles are the size of super bubble is going up to scale height or in larger, it is it depends like that. Uh, if the super bubble less than uh, the scale height, it depends something like that. So the alpha coefficient is uh, just factor 38 to 100. Uh, there are several um, examples of uh, super bubbles in dwarf galaxies and also in spiral galaxies. This is uh, a famous uh, only two galaxy. Uh, this one, you see here uh, the the this uh, violet uh, violet uh, ground is H1 uh, emission. This red uh, red is uh, continuum, UV continuum, and uh, uh, yellow points, uh, yellow uh, spots are just clustered, uh, clustered OP stars. And around them, you 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 observe something like a spiral structure. The, these are just the bubbles, uh, assumedly uh, produced by by uh, growing super. These are the the voids. In the in the galaxy disk, produced uh, presumably by growing uh, ground uh, super bubbles. There are underlying star formation, very weak, unseen here, but uh, star uh, all cyberstellar population. And uh, uh, this is just this this small region here, showing uh, showing this, uh, this small super bubble with the, with the size of a uh, few kilometers. Uh, Another, another example another example is this galaxy by C3574. This also this, this the, also the, the nearby galaxy uh, H1 distribution and holes uh, holes inside voids inside. They, these are also uh, assumed to be uh, supposed to be to be super bubbles from uh, from supernova explosion. One of these super bubbles is here. It is uh, around, uh, around also around one kiloparsec in diameter. And uh, uh, now uh, red uh, is H1 distribution, H21 distribution, 21 centimeter. Uh, this uh, this blue or violet also uh, the H alpha emission, and uh, more brighter blue. Light blue is uh, optical uh, UV continuum UV, UV emission. So the, the same galaxy, and here uh, I show the velocity field. This large scale velocity field. You see here uh, the distribution, the map of velocities, and here is the uh, the micro, micro, microscopic uh, the rotation velocity. And uh, the deviation of of of, uh, of the rotation just in this area, they are very very tiny. So there is no outflow. Because even though here we observe a growing super bubble, but there is no outflow, strong outflow here. It is the the all velocities they are kept somehow within uh, 10, 20 kilometers, not more. Uh, Another example, uh, no, this is not another example. The same galaxy, the same, the same hole, the same bubble, and is a more detailed, uh, uh, small scale velocity field. Uh, the deviation from uh, deviation from uh, normal uh, velocity dispersion, say, something, uh, something within 10, uh, 10 kilometers per, per second. Uh, this this one. Particularly this one, 84 kilometers per, per second. They are just small spots here. In overall, over the, the, the whole uh, super bubble, uh, growing, presumably growing up, 
uh, the universities are very, very small, you know, not more than a uh, third university or discussion with university to the galaxy. Uh, in other galaxies, this spiral galaxy, this, uh, this spiral galaxy, you see this bigger, this already, uh, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, from uh, from H alpha, normally normally you see this uh, the emission from 21 centimeter is quite weak. Therefore, uh, it's just common uh, common uh, thing to divide uh, diversity field and dispersion diversity by by H alpha emission. In line, of course. Uh, you observe here a lot of a lot of uh, this. Uh, these super bubbles or holes, voids, whatever, and presumably they also the origin uh, can be or most likely connected to uh, to growing super bubbles due to uh, several activity. Uh, but when you when you go to uh, to detail it, uh, dispersion velocity and also which includes also a vertical verti vertical motion, you 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 see that for instance this. Large super bubble, maybe around uh, round to a parsec size, uh, but there is no nothing in uh, nothing particular in the velocity distortion in the velocity field. So it looks like no motions, no uh, particular energetic motions up uh, up uh, upward. Uh, these are several edge uh, one galaxies. These are dwarfs with the with the. Uh, Circular velocity about 100. These are more massive, about 200 kilometers per, per second. Uh, and uh, uh, what I've seen is uh, the difference between the task rate approach. So in this case, it's more smooth. Although, if uh, you can you can see here, you can recognize here some kind of uh, upgoing uh, upgoing uh, like warps. In, in the Milky Way, that's the works due to exceeds. Then, if you go to a uh, larger masses, uh, masses you, you have already very, very shaped, very, first of all, very uh, thick dust uh, disk and shaped in the vertical di direction. Say, about, I think here, the, the height is maybe around 12 kilopars. Although, uh, there is one point uh, that in the in Borg galaxies, uh, normally, uh, dust. Uh, dust uh, uh, dust amount is not very high. It's less than in spiral galaxy, and uh, probably this is one of the reasons that dust is not seen here, not clearly seen, not recognized. Here. So it uh, somehow doubt to, to complete. Uh, so then, uh, then I I start now to show you just an example of supernova driven uh, supernova driven. Uh, uh, growing super bubbles. What what uh, I would stress here is the problem when is the, when we speak about supernova dri driven or energy driven, uh, no matter whether the the supernova remnants are radiating or or in terror, really terror phase. Uh, the point the difference the difference between energy driven and luminosity driven is the problem. When you have I just forgot to to write the the. Uh, the equation here. Uh, when uh, when people speak about the luminosity dream, they assume uh, more or less constant or, or time, time, time de de dependent, smooth time dependent uh, luminosity, uh, which is uh, which is assumed to be supernova uh, rate in uh, in, in one over one u supernova rate times the energy, which is in fact uh, equivalent to the average over ensemble or time. Average of uh, the following uh, following sum by I delta function by time times uh, delta function by uh, space r minus r and times energy. Energy is assumed to be constant. So in principle, is uh, the, the this equation is the equivalence between the luminosity and this outage remains. But the point is, very important point is, uh, and crucial point is the, the following, that, that each function, that function, they spread in time some, somehow like that, 
or something like that, and so on. And also in space, you find, and here is something uh, in one direction. The same. And what you observe, uh, just as soon as you have here some characteristic inter um, time between uh, explosions, and you have several characteristics in the interstellar, interstellar they uh, at some time or, or at some point they start they start um, interrelate somehow. So they come into play. The same the, the same I can conclude about the delta function over over um, spatial de delta function because in this case you can observe something like uh, spontaneous uh, symmetry break. So if uh, if you, uh, for instance, this supernova it exploded in the in the disk in the galactic disk, another supernova up, uh, uh, after some time it explodes uh, somehow around one half of the of the galactic scale uh, scale In this case, you can observe something growing, the bubble growing up, and I show you in, in the numerical experiment this kind of breaking of symmetry breaking. And it, uh, it's quite different from what you can get from this uh, homogeneous luminous tube. And this one of the important point, one of the important different difference between uh, luminosity driven and energy driven uh, So these are three examples with different uh, so these are around, I don't remember, you will see on the next the next plot, don't remember the total amount of signal uh, exploding here, here, and here. Uh, they grow about one, um, one mega year here. And the, uh, the stars, the progenitors of signal, they spread somehow in a, in a cluster. In a cluster, in this case, in all these cases, in a cluster, uh, 30 uh, radius of uh, 30 percent. So, but they spread randomly. The equivalent uh, supernova rate here is the following. In, in these units, uh, this the highest, lower, and uh, two orders lower. So this is just one order of magnitude uh, decrease in decay in supernova rate. And what you observe is, of course, the difference, the morphology difference, uh, uh, at least in the initial stages. Although at a later or around in this case, one mega year, you see that the, the morphology and, in fact, the uh, the um, uh, radio, radius dependence, uh, radius time, de time dependence, is also uh, approaches uh, just normal normal uh, wind uh, wind explosion, luminosity driven uh, wind bubble. Uh, the important thing is that, uh, for instance. X-ray luminosity here, here, and here it depends. The map of X-ray, H alpha emission, they all depend. Uh, they all depend on on this uh, supernova rate, and uh, they, in principle, might be recognized. Uh, and of course, this uh, it differs from uh, from a standard uh, luminosity driven uh, luminosity driven. Well, of course, this luminosity driven yes. More or less the same. There are small differences. The the, uh, the point is that the heating efficiency from uh, energy uh, ejection of energy it uh, depends, of course, on the supernova rate, but not very strongly. I will show in next slide. So, and in this in this case, in this sense, you see, you observe more or less more or less similar. The difference, uh, difference, uh, differences are in the details, and the the most important point here is, is that they explode into uniform, homogeneous, vision. totally, totally uniform. The density here, density is flat somehow. Uh, this uh, around one. Huh? Around one. Very low, what? No, no, no. No, the density is the field. The bubble density. Ah, the bubble density. Uh, it's uh, uh, totally in the in the shell. Right, I think it's because of the 
mass loading is small. Yes, the energy so the, all the gas from from inside the shell, all the gas is swept out into into the shell, and the shell is of course radiated. Um, Why is it more than one structure underneath the heat? Here, here, it's just just factor this factor, random factor. So the uh, we we exploded this supernova just random. And by chance, somehow it, it occurred that this is more more shaped than, than, than this one. So this is very, very uh, somehow unpredictable uh, shape. This is what I, what I mean. The difference, yeah. And the way you're comparing this recent vision, so that it is better, um, it's the because although they have a uh, lower Find the top of the for six years, but the region over which you are exploding the supernova is very so, like, in the uh, left case, you're exploding all of them in the central part, and right uh, most cases, you are like diverging them to more and more regions. No, 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 the, the initial uh, so there is a circle uh, in the in the initial state, there is a circle where we spread. Uh, supernova pro progenitor and uh, yes, I think yes, uh, thirty parts probably you can you can see here. So this the initial is some somewhere here. Or maybe I'm wrong. Thirty parts probably the the uh, diameter. Is this the size of the cluster or is this the size? Yeah, of this. No, no, no. The, the size of the cluster. The size of the cluster. And uh, in this case, the, res the resolution, I, I don't remember, probably is around 0.1 parsec. And uh, therefore, we have, uh, we had around, uh, for, for each uh, supernova exploded ejection, we had around uh, 30 cells on, on the on launch. launch when, when, when we, uh, I, I don't remember the details for, for this. Uh, this actually is published in, in, in this paper. In these two papers. By Eugene This is scaling. The scaling for, for the bubbles just in three and three examples. Uh, this is the supernovae and the MBDS. This factor of the efficiency. Uh, what I show here is for different uh, different supernova uh, rate per thermonic volume. I show here the efficiency, the isotopic efficiency uh, from from the beginning. Of course, it is it is seen here. It is the lowest supernova rate, and you see here the supernova rate corresponds here in this last term, one supernova per per per, per, per 10, 10 to the five one hundred one hundred thousand years. Every one hundred thousand years, supernova explodes in different uh, different uh, places, in random places, and you see that the initial it is what uh, like like uh, we showed in the paper. Uh, so the initial uh, supernova they uh, they lose energy very efficiently because they have to they have to outside gas compress it and uh, all mass most of energy is lost by radiation. But then after some time uh, after some time it establishes more or less around certain value. And this word value well, this is the efficiency the final the, the final efficiency that is somehow four point twelve. Uh, in this case the efficient the, the efficiency is high for the high, the high, the supernova rate, the volume super supernova rate, rate the efficiency is high. Exactly. This is the uh, fraction of volume fraction of different uh, different phases of gas with so different temperature. Uh, you see, it is uh, yes, it's point one for even for very rare. Is, is okay. 
So when you inject, of course, when we when we use the luminosity-driven uh, approximation, uh, it is not from uh, from good light. It is just because uh, this this simulation, this kind of simulations, are very consumable, consumable, very time expensive, and it is very hard to 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 model. Uh, the good resolu resolution of this, uh, this kind of things. Uh, here I show here I show the ratio of kin kinetic energy to uh, to thermal energy. You see here this periodic boundary condition and the kinetic energy to thermal er energy grows uh, grows up first and then then goes up. So this the very initial the, the very initial stages this lowest, uh, the lowest, I think the lowest. Uh, in different phases, when we compare to different phases. And then it, it goes on. When we have outflow uh, boundary conditions, the uh, this ratio keep, is kept around maybe 0.3, something like that. It's higher. Uh, I'm not very clear why it's higher, probably because uh, because they are confined here, the supernova, they are more confined here, and therefore they somehow interact with each other. Although uh, you, you saw just before that uh, the, the model, uh, the, the boundary conditions, they are saying some parallel. It is not quite clear. Although the, the, the oldest, the uh, Now. Yes, luminosity driven versus energy driven. Uh, mostly, uh, when uh, when people model, uh, this is the uh, two pictures from from uh, uh, from uh, Pratik Sharma and uh, his his team Pedro. Uh, this the uh, density profile in the bubble, in the growing bubble, for. Uh, these these profiles are for different. Uh, these are the supernova rate in here is represented by number of uh, super uh, OB stars in a, in a OB association. So there are some parameters of the OB association. The injection. Uh, these are these are parameters for the injection energy into <coughs> in different uh, di different regimes of injection. Uh, luminosity dream, kinetic energy dream, thermal energy and so on. And but at some, uh, some when when we have uh, when we have sufficiently frequent uh, supernova explosions. So these are explosions in the uniform medium, homogeneous uniform medium. And these are uh, uh, after some explosions you 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 see the, the profile established in the inside the supernova. The profile is Almost uh, exactly follows the profile of by Chevalier and Clay in their simple uh, paper. And uh, the estimated uh, estimated uh, supernova efficiency, the efficiency, the heating efficiency is some quite high here, is uh, around point, uh, point 0.3 or at least around point 0.3. And therefore, we can use very, uh, very free. Use this uh, this approximation, <coughs> but when you go when you go to to a stratified medium, the situation somehow changes. It changes due to this factor, uh, but not only. Uh, what happens here? You, you see this uh, blue blue mm, some some features here. Uh, these are the ejector. The, the ejector compressed is ejected from from exploded supernova in previous stages. So it starts from from this flat disk, and then it goes. Uh, every every supernova explosion gives some uh, 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 rate rest to to up uh, for the motion upward, and uh, it creates gas. In this case, the next supernova. These are uh, the supernova here is very, uh, very, very small compared to to what uh, what normal people uh, people assume. For instance, uh, this was our, our paper with the Kartik and Beeman and uh, Kartik. Then the paper by Kartik, Beeman uh, and Kartik, uh, concerning uh, uh, considering the uh, formation of a thermal 
by this kind of um, ejection of energy ejections, supernova explosions from there were no supernova explosions from the central east. They assumed uh, star formation rate. They would fit the, uh, the the shape of uh, uh, group one Fermi bubbles by the uh, supernova star formation rate of ten times of this 0.5. And it's somehow not quite uh, consistent with, with the observation. And in this case, we, we have more or less the same. The, the times, characteristic uh, time scales are different. The, the, uh, in this case, the uh, density in the halo is uh, 10 to the minus 4. In this case, more dense. Dense and characteristic times are, of, of course, different growing times. But uh, the interior <coughs> the is more or less similar in the sense that uh, first several supernova explosions, they evaporate gas upward. And uh, so the, the growing, the, actually every, every this supernova ex injection goes to uh, form a kind of in inflating, inflating loop. Therefore inflating, therefore density and pressure goes down and for next uh, supernova eject, uh, it is just uh, uh, free space to to, uh, to penetrate there. And uh, the uh, thermal efficiency here is, uh, these are two, two examples, these, uh, they, uh, they differ by supernova rate. So this for, um, I don't remember, one supernova in a thousand years, uh, this one is one supernova in uh, uh, ten thousand. And this is the energy, thermal energy. You see that it has grows uh, first proportionally to, to energy, total energy uh, injected, and then it flattens and goes up. And this is the uh, efficiency, thermal efficiency. It goes down first, then at some point it uh, reaches the, the minimum state and then grows up. And goes up up to up to 0.3 or something like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. The, look, look here. What happens here? Uh, in the beginning, of course, the uh, the energy goes down uh, radiatively, then uh, then flattens. Around it flattens. Uh, it flattens somehow. Around this point, when part of the uh, end of the uh, shock wave goes to to the disc and compresses disc, and this in this in this uh, in this state it uh, loses uh, the energy very efficient, and then uh, the efficiency goes up up to over three. Yeah. Yes. Now I I would speak now about this um, mass loading and uh, mass containment, but I would, I would like to, to show you a, a movie. Yes, so uh, these are the initial conditions for a, a to model uh, the setup, numerical setup for, for a Milky Way galaxy. Uh, this is just the parameter typical for the Milky Way for the vicinity of the solar vicinity. And then <coughs> we go to we go to uh, this this kind of supernova explosions. They are they are very very big in size. Last last night the the presentation was finished. Uh, you see the, the porosity factor goes to here, this direction, this way. Here it is about 100, and the supernova rate here is uh, uh, more than one, uh, more than 10 times more than in the in the, in the, in the vicinity, solar vicinity. Uh, here is more or less like, like Milky Way, and uh, here is 0 .0 0.1. Uh, and, the, uh, and you see the difference. Uh, gas, interstellar gas is growing up. 
uh, even for lower for uh, uh, or relating low submission uh, rate. But the difference is here. Uh, it is uh, obviously different from from this behavior. The disk is more or less kept uh, in average is more or less stable. Uh, what you observe, what you can see here, this just kind of breaking, symmetry breaking, because some some of supernova they are uh, spread in uh, in the scale of uh, 50 kiloparsecs, 50 parsecs here in the disk, and therefore from time to time you you observe here explosions at some height, and they uh, they break to the the galaxy, uh, to the interstellar medium. And uh, next, next, uh, next slide showing you the transfer of mass, and uh, this is the total transfer. Uh, the, the scale is like that, and you see here that all these things above uh, about the 300 parsecs, they are these are tiny, tiny. Uh, this is the density which transported up to depending on time here transported up to a given a given scale. Given, uh, given height. And this density here is uh, just tiny, somehow 10 to the minus 4, 10 to the minus uh, 3. Uh, this hot gas, uh, hot gas is, is here. It is ejected in there for high, high velocity, but on, on, uh, again, the density transported by, by hot gas is very, very tiny. The only, the only we can, uh, we can observe some kind of uh, big uh, X-ray emission, and this cold, so cold means uh, more than a thousand degrees. Cold is uh, you know, less than thousand degrees, and you see that cold gases actually be diffuse, uh, diffuse, which um, one gas? It stays mostly within uh, within uh, three hundred parsecs or even less. For this, for these galaxies. It's slow. It's small uh, porosity factor is uh, uh, just in the in the disk. Then, what? Uh, it's, you mean the ah yes, the axis uh, yes the axis is the vertical direction. The 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 vertical axis is the scale, the, the, the scale, the, the height. Yeah. yeah, after some time, so the point is that they transported up, the, the clouds transported up, and then fall, fall down after some time. If, uh, uh, the point is that we, we set here in, the, in this uh, numerical uh, the, uh, the grid, uh, numeric, the simulating grid, we, we said there uh, star, some cluster of stars, not cluster, just spread stars with the, a given a given number of uh, progenitors, and therefore when they when they uh, uh, exhaust, therefore after that uh, the material goes up, and these are four galaxies, this uh, type of a combi two galaxies. Uh, for different uh, for different scale head of the gas scale head. In this case, the scale head head the initial this uh, edge uh, phase on this uh, this uh, edge on this is the cut. The cut is just exactly on this this way. And the edge on the scale head is around uh, around uh, 350 or even around 40 40 percent. Okay. Uh, these are the same. The only point it is, yeah. The only point is that, or probably is the same. No, it's 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 a uh, uh, lower scale scale head, and uh, this is uh, the lowest scale head is around. 150 parsec scale, and you see the difference between the first and the and the, the last. So in this case, uh, supernova spread in some in some point, and they these are these are different different obvious associations. 
each of the associ association can contain uh, 100 uh, uh, progenitors. As, uh, the the luminosity function typical, uh, like a uh, uh, luminosity function. So, and this is the cut. The cut is the same. And you see, this, uh, this um, can provide uh, outflow. Uh, but again, again, if you if you go to the uh, mass transport, you observe that basically the gas is stays in the in the plane. After some time, it it works to the initial state. And uh, that's all. Probably I the best is to go to conclusion. Um, oh, what I wanted to uh, just due to some. Couple of things about the about the mass environment. Well, the uh, first impression of uh, just going to the mass environment because all these all these things you see they don't transport uh, too much mass outside. And the point was, for it, it was it started from the uh, beginning of 2000, or even, probably even earlier. And uh, what is here, uh, here is the first slide is the, the shock propagates somehow here. Actually, the clouds, the clouds, small clouds, they, they go up and uh, into, the, into the shock, and uh, if they are involved in the uh, train into the motion, but if you consider if you consider more realistic situation, you you can observe that it is not so easy to to transport uh, the these are two D uh, numerical simulations of a single supernova. Uh, most of the, most of gas remains here in the in the place, and particularly uh, when you go to uh, high higher uh, feeling factor, the gas stops stops here. Uh, the point is, uh, the point here is, uh, these are the metallicity distribution, and the point here is also the, the, the next point is that the metallicity is the higher feeling factor. When you want to uh, to push up uh, more uh, more gas, metallicity stays here, just in the central part, and either from this point of view, it's very hard to to spread metal outside. Uh, then uh, uh, what we what we uh, uh, listen yesterday and uh, before yesterday, these are two, two very impressive papers by uh, Evan Schneider and uh, Penko about mass entrainment. And I was yesterday, I was very impressed with this idea of, uh, of the collecting mass by a cloud, by, uh, by moving cloud. Collecting mass due to thermal instability in the, in the, uh, this uh, interface turbulent mixing layer. My point point is, point is uh, only this the uh, the following. If you uh, look here, for instance, here metallic, it looks like uh, there is a mixing of metallic, but there is not not mixing, not real mixing. There is a numerical mixing, and I show you just the, before conclusions. I I show you the interrelation. Uh, current phase uh, current uh, current uh, conditions for numerical simulation they clearly gives you that numerical diffusion is uh, something like this this is the uh, real kinetic diffusion diffusion uh, real kinetic diffusion provides you uh, a real mixing otherwise you have only a kind of so called horseshoe uh, mechanism i will show you right now so this numerical diffusion always just evolves from, from this iteration. Always numerical diffusion is square of uh, maximum times uh, kinetic diffusion. And uh, mm, uh, what you have in turbulent beams, you have just the whole uh, horseshoe maps, maps, horseshoe map. So you stretch uh, then bend, stretch bend, and so on. And what we have in astrophysics always, probably the, uh, only uh, the only uh, uh, we have real uh, real um, diffusion is the stellar stellar interior. 
but not not the diffuse medium. In a strategic, always we have mixing of this kind. So we, when we go up, uh, this is the line uh, line of sight, the sight line going here, and we mix different different clouds, and we we infer from them different uh, not different. We infer from them uh, average metallicity, average uh, density, our temperature, and so on. There is no mixing in astrophysics. And uh, uh, what we what we so my point is the following. Uh, not him, it's uh, more or less him. I would like to show this actually mixing in in everyday mixing. If you if you put a sugar in a tea uh, tea cup, the tea and you want to get a tea sweet, you have to wait, uh, by diffusion, you have to wait around one month. Uh, if you, when you, when you mix by uh, a teaspoon, you simply make this kind of transformation, crucial, uh, crucial uh, transformation. Uh, so you, you have different layers, different layers with big sugar without sugar. And these are happy, happy, uh, Property is that we we uh, fill the sugar only by this this thing. and the resolution is uh, not very good, <laughs> but anyway it, it works. And so uh, the same we, we, uh, I can tell about the galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy here. Uh, we look at more or less like uh, like uh, homogeneous in, in metals. But when we go deeper, we, we can observe some different different consistency in them along the line of sight. Thank, thank you. So, all the So, I'm curious about this this uh, sort of phase space volume preserving mixing. Um, once you uh, stir things down to a point where you have interfaces of material hot and cold, where the layers of those material is comparable to the field. Is it then other like non-diffusive forms of mixing like thermal conduction going to, to spread your entropy around or uh, thermal conduction is very suppressed by by magnetic field. So if you if you have this this kind of uh, transform mapping <coughs> this kind of method. Uh, you somehow you can uh, imagine that magnetic field here is something like that. If you stretch, bend, stretch, bend, the magnetic field goes up somewhere like that. And therefore, the uh, diffusion is, is even less than the uh, thermal kinetic diffusion. And this, this kind, these uh, things, they don't work even for uh, for. It. You see, I I showed you just from. This example. Uh, this is turbulent diffusion. This uh, this uh, kinetic diffusion. diffusion. No, this turbulent, turbulent diffusion. Kinetic diffusion is here. And uh, turbulent diffusion, diffusion, it uh, it dominates uh, dominates uh, here. No, let me. Yeah, it dominates here. When you go to lower scales, only here. You, uh, you you get uh, if you, uh, kinetic diffusion dominate. But the condition for this is that this scale is less than three part uh, 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 divided by uh, one half. So this is the kinetic approximation of it. So mixing goes only on the kinetic level. Kinetic so I, I'm afraid I have to finish. Thank you. <laughs>